Judge Judy can be really mean, but <laughs> in, in a really funny way. Um, there's this one episode called um, Snowboarding Instructors, and I've never watched that one before, and I'm I'm going to see it now. At the what? For injury she suffered after he crashed into her while snowboarding. This night are you and the defendant, and I assume this other gentleman went snowboarding together. You had an accident. You believe it's Mr. Citrus's fault that you were injured, and you want him to be responsible for your medical bills and pain and suffering. Mr. Citrus says that he was not responsible for the accident that happened when you were snowboarding. As a matter of fact, it was your fault. So why don't you go over there and show me where you were all snowboarding. Okay. Judge Judy continues in a moment. Okay, I'm going to skip the commercials part. Real cases, real people. Judge Judy. Vicki Snyder says she was injured after Cole Sidman crashed into her while they were snowboarding. Go ahead. Um, we were all together on the lift. I was explaining to them that we could go off the trail just about 10 feet, but for them to give me 20 feet of space. So when we secured our binding, the last thing I said to him, I turned my head and I said, give me 20 feet. So I was in front because I know the resort and they didn't know the area where we were going. So I asked him to stay behind me, give me 20 feet. I heard you already stay behind me 20 feet. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I took one turn in and I noticed the conditions were poor. So I took one turn out and when I took the turn out, I saw black. And then I woke up on my back, and I couldn't get up. And then when I finally got up, hmm. when I finally got up, I stumped up and noticed that I had grit. And so you were injured. What makes you think that they're responsible? Well, ma'am, because when I went back to work the following weekend, I went into the locker room, and Cole asked me how my tooth was doing because he knew that I had chipped my tooth. Well, I asked him if you won't work together. Yes, ma'am. We're all snowboarder instructors. You're all snowboarding instructors? Yes, ma'am. Anyway, um, I asked him what happened, and he admitted hitting me in front of Ryan. Oh, so tell me what he said. They asked me how my tooth was doing, and I said, you mean my head? Because they didn't know that I had received a concussion. I had to get 16 stitches, an MRI, and a CAT scan because they left. You left to there? No, I left it with uh, ski patrol at the top of the lift there. Show me where. After the incident, Vicky said she felt good enough to ride down. She got ride down the, how? Ride down uh, the mountain on her snowboard. So she rode down the mountain on her snowboard? Uh, after the incident, yes. Okay. We told her we needed to get her uh, some help through ski patrol, but she went back up the lift, and at the top of the lift, there is a ski patrol shack right up here. And that's so where she we, that's used her snowboard to get down? Yes. And then she went, got back up on the lift? Yes. Is that correct? Would you tell me your version of how this accident took place? This diagram is pretty, pretty accurate, except for at the time of the incident, this is me right here, and that's me. So you were in front? I was. Yeah. And you remember that? Yeah. She started first. She went down. I let her get out of sight. Then I went. Next thing I know, she's right behind me. I tried to cut out of the way, and I turned around, and she's picking herself up a little bit. I didn't even realize anything happened. Were you there, too? I was. Your name? My name's Ryan. I've done hard to meet you, Mr. Oh, right. Right there. No? <laughs> Next to him. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was just going to go up to the board and show him my way. Was it his way or her way? More like my way. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> we went up to the hill, and we were riding all four. The other person's not here. I don't know where he's at. Um, there's a powder day. Wait, maybe there was lots of ice there. All right, I'm not going to remember. I got very good. Sit down. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sit down. I was over Sit here. Sit down. Sit down.
they could no longer ride until they filled out an accident report. And I have in their own writing what happened. Oh, yeah, this yes, is. Yes, ma'am. Just both, is. Both of just them. is. This one doesn't know if he's on hmm. Pluto or where he is. <laughs> Those are two reports Cole had to write. Just <laughs> is. <laughs> he had to write two. Who had to write two? Cole, because the first one was not true. The second one's not true either. The only one that's true is Ryan. <laughs> I want to hear his. Is this his? That says she was right behind me. It's not true. It's absolutely not true. I don't know if it's true or not. That's what happens when you snowboard. That's what happens when you skip runs. You flip somebody's ski. It's unfortunate to Richard. If you don't like the Richard of attendant to snowboarding or skiing, what I'm suggesting that you do is pick something else. Take a ping pong. But that's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> I don't know if she's a good inspector or not. She needs to know that's what happens, isn't it? That's what happens. He's not a novice. I need a reunion. It's just like driving when you're snowboarding and someone comes mm -hmm. behind you and clips you and knocks you. I have no idea what they just put your head on. Oh my gosh. He says he was in front of you. That's not true. Well, how do you know that? You passed out. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe, like, uh, <laughs> wow, you know, people want to sue over something that's really, people want to, in America, that's what happens, people sue over ridiculous things, and she had no way of knowing whether she, whether he was in front of her or not, that, that's ridiculous. I don't know if she's a good instructor or not, because she needs to know that's what happens in snowboarding. It really does. It happens in it. I'm glad I don't snowboard. I ski. But, yeah. And I've never had an incident like that where I injured my teeth like she did, but... But... How would, why would I sue somebody if I didn't even know that they did that? First, I would, okay, I would first find out if they did that or not, and I would bring as much proof as I could. And, I, and I'd ask them if they were really, really sincere about that. I wouldn't just go ahead and just sue them for doing that. That's just ridiculous. 